Yeah, so the tour we're going to do for this is part of the Anderson Van Irish project. So we've been identifying different people in the graveyard who are Irish American, either born in Ireland or who have had their parents um, were from Ireland, they were born in different countries. So the, the aim of the tour is, is to give some of the personal stories of these individuals as we wander around. We're going to take it chronologically, so from the low numbers to the high numbers, guys who died early and guys who died late. Um, talking about some of the personal stories, so on a, on a few of the graves we'll be talking through the individual's history, but a few of them as well are to discuss different aspects of the Irish experience. So things, for example, like the Irish language or things like different types of um, associations that people had with, with immigrants at home uh, and so on. So we'll kick off with one of the earliest graves, who's also one of the youngest that we found in the Anderson Irish project so far. Okay, so we're at our first grave here, and it's grave 321, Daniel Mulry. And Daniel served in the 9th Massachusetts Infantry, which was one of the most famous Irish regiments during the American Civil War. And they took the highest losses, for example, of any Union regiment at the Battle of Gaines Mill and suffered significant casualties at Saunders Field in the wilderness as well. But Daniel wasn't there for any of that. He enlisted later in the war on the 23rd of August, 1863, and he was a substitute for William H. Darby, who had been drafted. Daniel's a really good example of a late war enlistee, a guy who often is seen as, in some way, not as good as people who enlisted in 1861 and 1862. And on the face of it, Daniel conforms to that stereotype because he served for less than a month. He deserted with his equipment at Rappahannock Station in Virginia on the 19th of October, 1863. So about four weeks military service Daniel had. But I think it's quite harsh to think casting judgment on Daniel when you look at his age. He said that he was 18 when he joined in August 1863, but he wasn't. If you look at the 1860 census where he's listed with his family, he was 12 years old. So at most when he died here, he was 16. So it's pretty easy to imagine a young lad taking money, going in as a substitute, maybe thinking that the, the war was going to be something exciting and then the harsh reality of service in late 1863 was too much for him and he, he deserts and ends up dying in Addisonville prison. Uh, Daniel was born in Massachusetts but his family were all Irish and they were famine immigrants who had gone through the traditional famine route taking the cheaper passage that was available in through Canada and down into the United States that way um, and so that, that's what we know about Daniel but he is buried here one of the youngest guys that we've identified in the project so far.